Yeah, hi guys. So I was just uh, keep getting drawn back to um, John six forty four this week, um, and the preaching of other gospels. So um, yeah, I, I get a bit tired of dealing with it, and I sort of thought I just won't really worry about it too much anymore. It's it's um these other gospels they should be outside of your um your knowledge really you should not just don't associate with these sort of things I think so you got like um people like this will use Satan um all their videos are about Satan and what Satan's doing and then you know they'll say okay well I'm just showing you how Satan brought people to God all right which which might sound a bit weird to you, but um, then you got videos like this, the flat earthers, how they say, well, we use flat earth to get people to come to God, um, which is which is this video was pretty good, it was right, had some good testimonies on it and that, um, and then. Uh, you know, got this there's this fellow here, he's actually come onto my channel and he tells me how I should be doing a salvation videos and not, I'm not doing them properly to so the way he, he says I should be doing it. And uh, and then you look at his channel and all he shows is what Satan's doing. He doesn't have anything about his love for God or anything along those lines. He doesn't because oh, I went to see how he would do it I wanted to <laughs> see if he had anything similar and uh, no not nothing not one thing and uh, and he, he's the way he spoke was like that too he just didn't didn't have any didn't seem like he's got the fruit so to speak so just here sort of thing uh, no man can come to me except the father which have sent sent me drag him or draw him and I will raise him on the last day now, um, I went on the video just to see where it was so I could give him the timestamp, and it turns out the timestamp was at 6.44, which was amazing, and I, I see that uh, quite often with Arbor, and it's, I love it when he does that, and it wasn't for me, it was for this fella, and he didn't even bat an eyelid, you know, to me, people spend a lifetime waiting for that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, then I got this guy down here, and he's found some book there where somebody some angel uh, he says some angels are speaking through some fella who was asleep and they wrote a book of everything he was speaking in his sleep so i researched their book and all that and what i got out of it it was written by the fallen and uh, he said uh, you speculate with your first sentence at the same time you write like you think you know who conceived the book while the authors of the, of the book are unknown um, obviously the authors of the book was the one who was speaking through that man's voice. Alright, so this is again, um, uh, uh, you know, it's the, it's the rebuke that matters. It's, but through we or an angel of from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Alright, and then they repeat it, I think. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach another gospel unto you than, than that you have received, let him be accursed. Alright, so basically it's just saying, just stay with the gospel. Why do you need to leave the gospel to bring people to God? If you want to bring people to God, use the gospel. So uh, that's pretty much it. So... We'll just have a listen to this one here, and this is the end of his video. It started off good, but then he got to here, so we'll have a listen. Now, do any pastors want to stand up and tell these people that they are stupid? Do you want to tell them that their faith is void in the eyes of God, because you are afraid of being made to look stupid in the eyes of the world? All right, so now, you know, calling people stupid, and he's using God to do it. So you know that sort of the, the, and I'll point out that timestamp where that started that was at 1240 
I was watching another video and I paused this one at 12.40 because that's where it was good. And then I went to look for where this man was talking at the end of his video. And it also happened to be 12.40. So um, if you rewind back, you'll see it is. Okay, so let's have a listen to this man. Amazement. Because it's something that I have never, ever heard before. And I want to be quick to say that I give all the glory and honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that without Him, I am nothing. And so they deserve all the praise and all the glory. <laughs> and so, and all the worship. And so, let's continue in that vein. And so, <laughs> just feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit even now, just so wonderful. And so, I want to share this with you out of John, this secret all right, so even me, I'm getting it from him, what what Holy Spirit is feeling there. Now, I challenge any of you with you with your using Satan to bring people to Christ or um, showing, showing everybody what Satan is doing or flat earth or any of that sort of stuff. I challenge any of you to say, oh, I feel the Holy Spirit coming over me for what I am showing you. Uh, you. Now you see what I'm getting at? This is why it's important to use the gospel to share it because you're actually doing God's will, which is what he wants. And that's why Holy Spirit is with you and happy about what you're doing. And um, these people doing this don't get what I'm talking about I can uh, you know they don't understand me oh but it's the truth well so is Satan Satan's the truth too go and go and use Satan why are you using flat earth just do what these other guys do and do what everyone else is doing share Satan but it, it doesn't matter that it's the truth it's that you're not using you're not bringing people to God the way he said bring them to God bring them to me all right so you got your John 44 um, no man cometh to me except the Father which hath sent me, draw him. Alright. And then you got the Galatians, and I put this in the other way, so it's easy. What is it? NLT. I am shocked that you are turning away so soon from God, who called you to himself through loving mercy of Christ. You are following a different way that pretends to be good news. But it is not good news at all. You are being fooled by those who deliberately twist the truth concerning Christ. Let God's curse fall on anyone, including us or even an angel from heaven, who preaches a different kind of good news than the one we preach to you. So, okay, so flat earthers, um, and the fact that you're calling yourself flat earther <laughs> is kind of like, gay christian right <laughs> it's um you're either a christian or you're you're not so don't call yourself a flat earther call yourself a christian um put god above all things all right it's it's okay to do your flat earth believe in flat earth and that but um if you're gonna make it uh, on your mind 24 hours a day then it's not good it's drawing you away from god and you're using it uh, on other people you, you shouldn't be all right so i'm not condemning anyone I, I i understand everybody finds finds their way eventually but it's god who does the drawing all right so you you can't take any credit for anything you're doing all right um the, the, god's doing the work all right so um just sort of consider turning a bit more um, towards God and pointing towards Him instead of at a flat earth. You point, point back to God. Always back to God, and back to His Word. All right, uh, not just one word in the Bible, all the Bible. All right. God bless, guys.